he's under a great deal of pressure. The courier has just come to tell them that the army has to get up and move again. Uh, he's reading their faces. He's hoping that there could be some connection because they're main men. Uh, these are not very philosophical or theoretical things, but uh, instinctually he knows he cannot shoot them. He just knows that, and he's going to make that clear to them at the very beginning of the speech. The first thing he does, actually, is he, he hears them out first, right. which is, actually he does two things. He hears them out, and he feeds them a good meal, right. which uh, shows you that even before there's speech on his part, he's undertaken some practical action, which is quite sound in the circumstances. Well, actually, even before he feeds them, um, he liberates them. They come in and they're described like impressed seamen. Hmm. Um, and they're uh, watched over by a foul-mouthed bellicose captain who has contempt for Maine men, and they're guarded by surly guards. And the first thing he does is he dismisses the captain, he dismisses the guards, and basically makes them, in the first instance, like free men, um, as, as a preparation for the free choice he's eventually going to give them. He speaks quietly. It, he's obviously, or must have been, a wonderful teacher of rhetoric, because his rhetoric and everything that surrounds it is really perfect, it seems to me. He speaks quietly, softly, so they have to gather around and listen. After the high pitch uh, speech about ideals and principles, he then descends. And that's also important. He says, look, it's still the army, but you're as free as I can make you. Have a conversation. Decide for yourself. Uh, you got two choices. You can either get your rifles and come and fight, or you'll come under guard. In the end, I'll do what I can. And then finally, this wonderful pitch, you know? It's wonderful. If we lose this fight, we're going to lose the war. So if you'll join us, I'd personally be very grateful. And in the end, he's trafficking in the kind of trust that he has earned by freeing them, feeding them, taking their grievances seriously, respecting them, speaking to them as fellow Americans, and speaking to the better angels of their nature.